Right everyone, we're collector here. Right, so I've got another new knife recently. This is the Ganzo Firebird G712. And this is one I've been trying to get for quite a while. Every time I tried to get it, it was always sold out. And it is basically a slightly smaller version of the um, Benchmade Bedlam 860, I think. Uh, there's an 8... There's a 8,600 and 860. I'm not sure, but this is it's basically a clone of that, you know, copy of that as far as I'm aware, but that's a slightly bigger knife. The reason I got this, I just I just really like the sort of shape of these kind of knives. It's described as like a Persian type knife or a skimtar, skimitar sort of knife, you know. So um you know, that's the sort of general shape of it. You know, I don't actually know what that blade type is called. But, you know, you can see what it looks like from the <laughs> videos, you know what I mean? So, it's a Ganzo Firebird. There's the Ganzo logo, there's the Firebird logo. It is the G712 440C stainless steel. I'll just go over the sort of... Uh, feel of it and it's quite a comfortable knife these are designed as sort of um security fighting knives i think originally and when you hold it you can sort of feel that you can you can tell that would be a good slashing sort of knife but it's also a good utility knife you know doesn't have the looks of a utility knife though that's the only thing wouldn't be legal to carry in the UK, but it's perfectly legal in your house or garden or whatever, you know. It's just not allowed to carry these kind of things on the street because it's got a lock. Uh, and the lock is an axis lock, which is ambidextrous, and you basically pull those little studs down, do it either hand. When you pull them down, it releases the blade. So, yeah, that's the lock there sort of spring loaded it's got dual thumb studs so it can be opened left handed and right handed the only sort of weird well not weird thing but the pocket clip is only one position one side but why I was going to describe it as weird is if you look on the inside of the liners on this side you can actually see the screw holes they've just not done the cut out for it so yeah, one position clip, tip up only. Uh, yeah, tip up only. It'll be carried in your pocket like that. Tip up. Quite a deep carry. You would have about... Let's see. I can't put my hand, but... All you'd have is just that little bit sticking out. No lanyard hole. But when I looked at the Benchmade one, this little groove here... On the bench made there's like a piece of metal that comes out and that would be where the lanyard hole would be but they've not added that on this so g10 scales quite nice got that sort of textured um cutouts to it it's probably a name for that but i don't know what it is torx screw um screws torx head screws open pillar construction so it's easy to clean one-handed opening. Can't you can do one-handed closing with these, but it's you really need fingers on both sides to um, do a axis lock. So as for sharpness, it came shaving sharp and would cut paper and all that easily. You know, got a decent edge on it when you get it. Thumb ramp there. We've sort of nice sharp gym pin on it yeah overall very comfortable knife feels good in the hand I think and cheap as well around about 15 quid it is it's 14 pounds 64p and 18 dollars 40 cents so not an expensive knife the dimensions are nine centimeter blade and three centimeters wide blade forgot to look at the thickness of the blade but that looks about three three and a half mil to me 
overall, the whole entire thing open is 21.5 centimetres and closed it's 13 centimetres. The handle thickness altogether is around 13 millimetres. So it's quite thick folder. Well, I say quite thick. It's probably average thickness. You know, it's not. A, it's not a very thin knife. It's not a very thick knife either. And uh, it's 168 grams. So just sort of standard sort of weight for a knife. And the hardness of the blade, which is a uh, 440C, is the, the hardness is 58 HRC, if you're interested in that. No blade play in any directions. Fit and finish is good. You know, you can see the quality of it, and I've been using this for about a week and a half now, maybe two weeks. Comfortable knife, nice to use, nice to carry. Yeah, and and like I said with one of the other knives, one one good thing about these is if you wanted to try what a Benchmade Bedlam would feel like, although this is slightly smaller, you could buy one of these just as a tester. You know, because obviously this is going to be nowhere near the quality of a £180 Benchmade. But you can feel the shape of it at least and you know you'll know whether you'd like using a knife this kind of shape you know what I mean so they're sort of good for that but they're good knives anyway I really like this knife Ganzos are good quality especially for the price they're amazing quality for the price they could probably do these for at least two maybe three times the price you know if they had a different name most things I think just got names anyway so yeah, well worth buying. The link to this will be in the more uh, yeah in the more info section below or the description. Yeah, and it's fourteen basically basically fifteen quid and eighteen fifty dollars. So not a lot. Yeah. So don't forget to check out that. Yeah, I'll add or any info I haven't mentioned will be below as well. And yeah, and the links and a couple of other links in that. So. Yeah, Ganzo Firebird G712, I personally think highly recommended, great price, well worth buying. Alright, hope the video, hope you found this helpful, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe, and uh, yeah, that's it, so hope you the video, see you later.